you will see that uh, the conditional formatting is applied only at the granular level by default. So uh, again, this is a hierarchy and this is expected, but basically what you're saying is if actuals is greater than 45 million, and the reason why it applies only in the leaf nodes is that uh, we are applying a conditional formatting only to the values, right? But if I go and apply it to values and totals, it's going to apply to all the levels, right? Which doesn't make sense for our uh, use case. So I want to apply it only to the values and not to the subtotals and totals. Now, another example, again, I pointed this out when we were looking at the Power BI conditional formatting. So basically, if the quarterly revenue is above half a billion or now highlight these column headers, right? This is the example that I was talking about. Under manage rules, if I go and uh, edit this, you will see that I'm not only, uh, I can not only apply to row headers, rows, and the measures, but I can also choose column headers. And this property shows up only when you have a category or a dimension across your columns. So in fact, uh, when I close this, and when I go to the visualization pane, you will see that I'm having a quarter assigned to columns. Uh, on only in that case, you'll be able to see this conditional formatting. And it's a nice thing, you know, there are some specific use cases where this kind of conditional formatting will be of help and it's just nice to have that.